Hello, in this video I am going to find the mean of group data. So here we have some data. Perhaps we did a survey asking 40 people on their hourly wage and people could select between $5 and $11, 12 and $18, 19 through $25, 26 through $32 as their answer choices. And we see nine people have an hourly wage between 5 and 11, 14 people selected that they have an hourly wage between 12 and $18 and so on. So this is the frequency just telling us the number of observations in each class. And this last column here is the class midpoint or average. What's the midpoint? between $5 and $11. It's just $8. That falls right in the middle. Or another way to do it is just add these two numbers up and divide by 2 to get a simple average. So 5 plus 11 is 16. Dividing by 2 is 8. The class midpoint for the second group here, uh, the class goes from 12 to $18. So the midpoint is 15 or just the Average 12 plus 18 is 30 divided by 2 is 15. So again, we get the class midpoint or average here for each class. And now we have all the information we need to calculate the mean of this group data. And the easiest way, I think, of uh, doing this is just calculate a weighted average of the class midpoints. So here's the class midpoints, and we're going to weight them by the fraction of observations that belong to that class. So in this first class, where the midpoint is 8, 9 out of 40 of the observations belong to that class. In the second class, where the class midpoint is 15, 14 out of 40 of the observations belong to that class, and so on. So here's the calculation. So the weighted average here, we got 9 divided by 40 times 8, then 14 divided by 40 times 15, and then 10 divided by 40 times 22, and so on. So we just calculate this weighted average. Adding this up, we get $17.63. So that would be our mean of the group data. Uh, the formula here that you might see in textbooks is basically this. Okay, this is, to me, it's not as intuitive as just simply thinking about this as calculating a weighted average where the weights reflect the fraction of the observations coming from that class. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.